What's going on guys? Alex here with 814EC and I got a quick unboxing to do for you guys today. This is coming in from my buddy Casey over at Knives Fast. Um, he is also the one who sent the best tech package, uh, you know, a week and a half ago or so. So I've been getting a lot of mail from Casey lately. But this is another um, Apex Passeron group uh, package that he sent me. And it all is also a, um, he's returning my Kvist Variant P that I loaned out to him. Um, the unboxing knife today is the Astro Knife Co. Thai Nomad in M390. One of my favorite knives in the collection. This thing for like $95 titanium M390 bearings. Love this knife, guys. If you have not seen my review of this, please go check it out. Um, one of the best knives you can buy, period. So that'll be the unboxing knife for today. And we are going to slice through this bad boy. So again, this is my Kvist Variant P that he's returning that I loaned out to him. And it is also a um, another um, Apex Passeron group uh, package. I have in the uh, Wii Snick and the Civivi Knives uh, Appalachian, Appalachian Drifter 2. I don't know why I always say that. But um, this is also another um, Wii and Civivi package, which I'm excited for. Alrighty. All right, cool. We got a couple of Casey stickers, which is awesome. Show those here real quick. So here are a couple, yeah, they're both the same thing, a couple Knives Fast stickers. Those are dope. Casey, I think this is a newer logo that he made of, um, I believe he made it, I'm not sure. And then it also a Tempest Knives sticker, which is Casey's knife company that he's trying to start. Um, he's using Kickstarter. I think it ends here... Within the next couple days, um, I'll leave a link to his um, Instagram and his YouTube link down below in the description. I just said link twice in the same sentence. Um, but if you're interested in Tempest Knives, you can find it off of Casey's Instagram page or his YouTube channel. Um, so those are cool. Thank you, Casey. <coughs> Excuse me, I just swallowed air. All right, so we'll see. I think this is my knife. We'll check it out first, because I've been excited to get mine back. Um, there's some like this in it, and a bunch of like random like microfiber packages inside another package, because I sent him, he got another, oh, he got the uh, Steel Wheel Spica, Spica. Yes, guys, here we are. Love this thing. So excited to get this back in the collection. Ooh. D10 is so well done on these. There's a hair bit of blade play, which I took this apart and cleaned it for Casey before I sent it to him. Um, I tried to, I mean, I Loctited it, but I wanted a good enough action. Um, there's a hair bit of blade play, but it's not bad. I absolutely love this knife. This, I mean, this is one of my favorite knives in the collection too. And I just got this, I mean, this was over the fall that I got it, but so, so good. I actually scored a pair or a set of, uh, White Storm Fat Carbon Scales for this that Jacob, the um, owner and creator of Chris Blade Works, he's been doing like small drops of uh, aftermarket scales. And I missed out on the first one because I, there was only like four or five sets of each. Um, he had like four or five fat carbon uh, colors and like a couple of my Carta colors. Those all sold out within like five minutes. Um, so he did a drop on a couple days ago. And I was able to get on and snag a pair of the White Storm Fat Carbon. So I'm super pumped for that. It'll definitely class this knife up a little bit and make it... I mean, this thing is just... Oh, I love this knife. So super awesome to have that back. Casey, I think, liked it. He just didn't like the cutout here. Uh, he, he said it kind of felt weird in his fingers, which I can understand. I think I just got used to it, um, you know, on my end. But I can definitely understand how people can, you know, not appreciate not like that. So that is what is in here. All right, so here we have a Civivi box. And this is the Synergy 3. If I'm being honest, the, the reason I wanted to get this in was because of the Wii knife. Um, but, you know, the Civivi is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever really been drawn to this specific knife in general, just because it's kind of funky. Um, so you get the typical, like, Civivi stickers and Civivi... Um, microfiber and the CVV paperwork that nobody ever reads in here. Alrighty. Okay, so this... I did not realize that this was going to be G10. 
Uh, here is the knife. Again, this is the Synergy 3. Um, right away, you can see it has this in interesting milling pattern. It kind of, it's like waves away from the pivot on both sides, which is really cool. Uh, the pot clip is a very typical Civivi loop over style deep carry clip. You have a lanyard hole back here. Um, the pot clip is, oh, I don't think Civivi's been, I don't do that very often from what I can remember, but they actually recessed the clip and recessed the screws into the scale, which are counter, they recessed the clip into the scale and countersunk the screws into the clip, which is really, really nice. Um, I feel like I haven't seen that too many times on a Civivi. Um, a flipper only knife. Yeah, the texturing on here is really cool. For some reason, I did not think that this was going to be G10. I thought it was going to be like an aluminum or something. Um, but it feels really cool. This is probably one of the coolest feeling G10s I've felt in a while. Um, we'll give it a flip. Also a backspacer back here. But we'll give it a flip. And there you can, you can see it kind of has like this like reverse like upswept tanto blade. It's just very, very weird. Um, I believe this is a, it's an O Young, I think it's Jim O Young, uh, design, but this is in, uh, Nitro V, but in typical Civivi and Weep, you know, fashion, it's right there at the bottom of the knife, I don't know if you guys, you guys might be able to pick up on it, but it's right down here, um, this is a liner lock, try blade play. No blade play at all. Um, it's definitely, you know, very solid. The D10 is nice, though. I really like the D10 on this. Very snappy. It kind of, like, like you can feel it, like, going throughout the whole knife with that thud that it does. I do like the D10. I, that, is, that is very snappy. But the blade shape is just very weird. Um, you know, ergos aren't bad. So this will be an interesting one. Um, you know... Again, this was, you know, kind of the side attraction to the Wii that I wanted to check out. But it's definitely unique. Um, and there's some, you know, right away there are some things that I do like about it. The texture, the detent. Um, so maybe my review on this will be a little bit more positive than I thought it was. Um, we'll just have to see. But that is the Wii Knives Synergy 3. Sorry, Civivi Knives Synergy 3, which is basically Wii Knives, so... And then we also got the Wii. Typical Wii box. Well, sort of new, I guess, typical Wii box. This is the Beacon, great titanium handle, silver bead blasted CPM 20 CV blade. So I'm sure you guys have seen the Beacon on some other channels since it's come out. Again, a knife that nobody wants to buy. Typical stuff like that. Oh, the foam popped out with it. All right, put that back. Oh, I like the titanium feel on this, guys. And here is the beacon. You can see it has a very... this. I believe this is a titanium clip, so they're at least making it titanium instead of a uh, typical steel. But um, I wish that they would put, you know, this is basically the same pot clip. It's a little bit different, but it's basically the same. I really wish that with Wii's models, and I've heard other people complain about this too, uh, it's dead centered. I really wish that they would put just a simple mill titanium clip would really make this knife look, you know, more premium and just look a little bit better. Again, I, I love a loop over style deep carry clip. I love the functionality and the, you know, the, the ease of use of them. But when you're spending $200 on a knife, it's nice to get just a mill titanium clip that looks good. Um, it still functions pretty well and you can still get you know, milled clips to have pretty deep carries as well. Um, I know Kevin, when he had his beacon in, he took a, a pot clip from, I forget which Finch model, but a Finch knife and use it on there. And it looked so good. Really like the uh, sort of milling on the like relief cuts right here. Uh, you can see it has a flipper tab, also has a fuller down here. Um, we'll try the flipper first. Oh, very snappy. So you can see this is kind of a, I mean, it's a bigger blade. I believe it's like 3.5, 3.48, something like that. Um, very slim right away. Ergos are good. You have some jumping up top here. Um, I can fit on here very, very well. It's, you know, other than having a little bit of a swoop to it, it's a very neutral handle shape. Have a choil right here. Yeah, I'm liking this, guys. This is nice. 
Um, it's a frame lock. Very smooth. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. It's a, it's a pretty good dropper. Try the fuller. Nice. I like that. I like middle finger. I like to middle finger flick with fullers. We'll try the pointer finger. Yeah. I like this. This is nice. I really like the, you know, kind of, what is this? The gray, um, silver bead blasted. Okay. It's kind of like a darker gray titanium. It's very matte, but it's very, it's very nice. I really, oh, there. I really like this. Feels really good in the hand. This seems like it would be nice and, nice and, uh, thin behind the edge. Basically a flat grind until that fuller. But this seems to me like a really, a really nice work knife. Um, you know, but also I could see it being a very good EDC too. So I just, I like what we've been coming out with lately with their models. Um, because there's also this and the subjugator, which looks very similar to this. Um, it just has thumb studs instead of a fuller and it's a little bit boxier of a handle. Um, it looks really good too. I have the upshot in the collection. Um, I'm going to be selling that soon, but that's a really good knife too. I really enjoyed having that in there. Um, and carrying it and using it. But we has just been coming out with pretty good models lately. I can't tell. I think this is a bead blast though. I, I know Kevin rants about this all the time. He doesn't like Wii and Civivi, or he doesn't like bead blasts in general because they're very prone to rusting. This is in 20 CV again, but you might not be able to see it. So I just, that's, I guess that's one knock on Wii. I wish they would just do nice satin polishes, but they don't seem to do that a lot. Um, it's a lot of stone wash or which stone wash is okay. Or, um, uh, bead blasted. So yeah, this is cool. I'm excited to get both these in the pocket and check them out, fidget with them a little bit, play around with them a little bit and just, you know, see what they're like. So this was the unboxing of a Wii beacon and a Civivi, Synergy 3. Thank you to the Apex Passeron group for providing these, and thank you to Wii and CVV for te technically providing these, and to Apex for um, acquiring them for all of us to check out. So, full reviews will be coming on these guys, uh, you know, within the next couple weeks or so. So, be on the lookout for that, guys. Um, if you have not yet considered clicking, if you have not yet considered clicking subscribe, please continue. I can't talk today. Please consider doing so, guys. Um, you know, it really helps me out. I love seeing the channel grow, and it's just, you know, it's really heartwarming to, you know, seeing more people joining the family and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.